I'm going to do a 24 hour knitting challenge. There's no rules in this other than you have to knit for 24 hours, but I am modifying those a little bit because one, I'm a wife and mother, so I have those responsibilities. Two, when my contacts say they're done, they're done. I can't continue. I don't have glasses I can change into because a certain four-legged friend, when she was a puppy, had a thing for hard plastic. And my glasses were a casualty that I haven't replaced. So I am modifying my 24-hour challenge. So instead of doing it from 6 p.m. to 6 p.m., I'm going to set a timer and do 24 hours of total stitching time. So let's get to the pattern. The pattern is from this, the Harry Potter Knitting Magic. It's amazing. There's two of them. I have both. So what we are challenging ourselves, myself, what I'm challenging myself to make is Mrs. Weasley's, what are they calling it? Mrs. Weasley's home knit Christmas sweater. I'm basically, I'm going to knit a Weasley sweater in 24 hours. Now this is done in pieces. So back front sleeves instead of in the round. Um, so that will change things a little bit. I I'm going to do the size small. That will give me about three inches of positive ease. And the length is just right on that. It will hit at the top of the thigh. And we are going to use a lovely forest green tweed. We're going to use this yarn right here. So I'm going to gather my supplies and we'll get started. week and a half. Um, which is why I modified my challenge. Update. I have finished the back and the front and the monogram letter. And woo. All right. So each one of these light bulb markers mark which row I was on at the end of every hour. So According to my notes, the back took me four hours and 23 minutes. The front took me four hours. And monogramming the letter in duplicate stitch took me an hour and 26 minutes. So I have left these markers on there for my own knowledge. Um, I think it's turning out pretty cute. It's going to be awesome. So the next thing to do is do sleeves. Now I am going to do two at a time. So that way I do not get stuck on sleeve island. If you know, you know, um, basically sleeve island is you do the one sleeve and then you don't have any motivation to do the next sleeve. So I'm going to avoid that by doing two sleeves at a time. While I get ready for those, we're going to get these pieces blocking. Okay, so blocking is essentially opening up the stitches of your piece, getting to lay flat if it curls, and getting it to the right size that it should be according to the pattern. So the reason why I'm doing it now instead of later is because it's easier to seam, sew it up, if it's in pieces when, because if I try to seam it up now, 
See how this edge curls? That's not helpful. So blocking it will make these lay flat. It'll be easier to see the stitches and easier to seam it up. So what we're gonna do is soak it for about 15 to 20 minutes, squeeze out all the water, don't wring it like a dishcloth, squeeze it out. Um, and then I'm gonna take it outside to let it dry because it's July and it's hot. That's one good thing about doing this now. So let's get the water going. extra air bubbles so that way it can get really soaked. Now I'm not using a wool wash this time because it's acrylic and I don't need to. So squeeze out the air bubbles so it can get all the water can get in the fibers nice and soaked. Same thing with this side. Squeeze out air bubbles. Now we wait. All right, so I did start off the sleeves uh, two at a time, and I continued that way until they were about halfway done, about here. And then I finished them off individually because it was easier that way. So I have about four rows until I need to place markers at either end for uh, sewing placement and then another inch and a quarter and then I can finish up the sleeves and get those blocked and while they are soaking and drying well drying I will seam up our sweater so three needle bind off on the shoulders do the neck neckband and then we'll sew in the sleeves seam up the sides and We'll be done. All right, so Weasley sweater stats. Whoa. All right, so total time took me 18 hours and 14 minutes. So theoretically I could do this in 24 hours, but I don't want to. All right, so the back portion took four hours and 23 minutes. The front took four hours. Doing the letter itself was an hour and 26 minutes. Now the sleeves, I did start the sleeves uh, two at a time and I stopped about halfway through and finished them off individually. And that took six hours. Uh, seaming the shoulders and making the neck band took 24 minutes and then seaming the sleeves and the side took two hours and one minute so total yeah 18 hours and 14 minutes and remember i did make the size small so it's a finished bust size of about uh 38 and a half inches which gives me about three inches of positive ease that means you know total around the entire thing so there's three inches evenly spaced around the entire sweater so that way it's not so close to my body um I love it it's so fun and yes I know it's hot but at least my sweater is done now and ready for when it turns cold what are we gonna make next <laughs> 